What's going on Sheepdog? Suresh here, 221B Tactical. Today we are going over how to properly wear your Max Dry Vest for body armor ventilation. We get a lot of questions about how it's properly worn, a lot of emails and messages on social media. So we want to go over how to wear it properly. Um, of course, the base layer shirt that we recommend is our Max Dry Silver Elite shirt. There's videos on it of why it's the ultimate base layer shirt to wear, especially for those who are wearing body armor infused with silver, antibacterial, anti-odor properties. But today we're going to talk about the fit of the Max Dry Vest. Now, when you secure the Max Dry Vest to your body, it should not be tight. Just like your body armor should not be worn tightly, they say that in your body armor manual. It shouldn't be put on with wrenching forces. It should be on snug, not tight, not loose, of course. The same thing goes for your Max Dry Vest. You want to optimize the amount of airflow that goes underneath your vest, through your vest, and letting your shirt and your body breathe. If you do not allow that air to get in there, of course it's going to keep you warmer and it's going to keep you more sweaty. The whole premise of wearing this vest is get that full 360 degree separation beneath your body armor, everywhere your body armor rests. And obviously you could see this shirt, you could see how that airflow goes through front, back, shoulders, and sides. So when you put the Max Dry Vest on, make it lightly snug. You don't want to actually feel it pressing against your body. So if you tighten down your Velcro straps here on the Max Dry Vest 3.0 we have here, same goes for the 3.0 SL. If you feel the tightness around your core, it's too tight. So you actually want to just get it on so it's just lightly resting on your body. And you want to be able to get a couple of fingers underneath here and over here just like that so it's a little bit you have a little bit of movement that's it now same goes for whether you wear concealed armor or an outer carrier here in this for this demo i have an outer carrier i'm gonna just slide this outer carrier on if this was concealed armor obviously it works the same so you put that concealed armor on and of course you aren't wrenching your body armor closed you are lightly lightly snug putting your body armor on there so once again you can fit a couple of fingers under there just like your body armor manufacturer recommends and suggests you center that max dry vest under the shoulder area of your body armor and as you can see when properly worn whether you're wearing concealed armor or you're wearing an external carrier you see that you don't even see the max dry vest it's under there you get that airflow going in 360 degrees like I said it's getting under the shoulders it's going in a lot of officers report they put their arm out the window they could feel that air rushing in 360 degrees you get that vortex going and of course when you sweat you're not just sweating in the front you're not just sweating in the back you're sweating all over so the max dry vest gives you that full 360 degree separation everywhere your body armor is sides front back shoulders everywhere you need airflow it's everywhere where your body armor is protecting you so that's how it should be worn just like your body armor lightly snug so when you take take that vest off and you take that body armor off you feel your shirt it's going to be nice and dry you've had nice airflow going underneath there the entire time you've been wearing your body armor Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel about the Max Dry Vest sizing, fitting, and also the testimonial videos from officers around the world talking about how the Max Dry Vest is a lifesaver for them from the sense of ventilation and comfort, whether it's the summertime or the wintertime. Check those out today. And of course, if you have any questions, email sales at 221btactical.com. Our team is there 24-7 to help you out. Until next time, stay safe out there.